All right, what's up? It's your boy Willie Fest, man. Uh, today we're gonna upgrade uh, MXL V69 Megami Edition. You can get these joints, I think, from around about $2.99. Any guitar center, usually online, uh, BH photo, video, all kind of spots. <clears throat> uh, you know, I kind of like it because it's black and gold. It makes you know your artists want to get in there and actually perform on these things. They look real sexy, no homo. Um, check it out. First, we want to screw the bottom off. There we go. We're going to slide the top part off. Now, the first upgrade we're going to do is the tube upgrade. You can see I already kind of got mine partially removed. Um, check it out. You might want to go get you one of these little kits right here. Um, Radio Shack have them. If you're going to do any of the upgrades that I'm going to be showing during these video tut tutorials, you might want to get you one of these. They come in real handy, especially when you're working with small screws. Never use the electric uh, drill on any of your equipment. Don't do that. Especially stuff like this. You'll really, really jack something up. We don't want to do that. So we're going to start by removing... The screws, I've already removed one screw. Well, we're going to take the screws out right here. Make sure it drops down. Keep up with these screws, you're going to need them. <clears throat> take this little ring out. Now, as you can see, my tube's already sliding out, but that's because I had already pre-removed it. But you want to take the little ring off. Now, the reason I pre-removed it is because it's really difficult to get these things in and out of here. So on the stock tube, you're going to have to put some pressure on it. Don't bust it. You don't want to squeeze too much. But kind of at the top of it, put some pressure on it so you can wiggle it on out of there and pull it on out. Like I said, I had already pre-removed mine. So remember, it's going to take you some pressure to get it out of there. Don't worry about it. Don't, be, don't think that you're, not, you're, you're pulling too hard because if you don't put enough pressure on it, you won't get it out. But if you put too much pressure on it, it will bust in your hand and you do not want that. All right, now on these tubes, the one that goes off in here is the 12AT7. Let's see if I can get that close enough to where you can read it. All right, uh, well, you can't really see it good, but that's all right. It's a 12AT7. That's the type of tube that goes off in these mics. So when you're looking for a tube, and I will give you a website at the end of these tutorials about where you can find a good tube and a good capsule replacement for the stock ones that come in your mic. Now these tube upgrades can be done on basically any tube mic you have. You can get all kind of colorful sounds out of your mic when you just replace the tube. You would be amazed man at what type of sound you can get out just by replacing the tube. It's just crazy. Just like guitar players get different tones by the tubes that are in their tube amps you can get different tones out of your mic just by replacing the tube. All right. Now, what you want to do after you've got it taken out, grab the other tube. Of course, this is the tube that I'm putting in, so I'm going to put it back in. Make sure your little ring is around the tube. Now, it's going to take almost the same amount of force that you took to pull it out to push it back in. I don't want to make these tutorials like super technical like some people do, because they're really not that hard to do, man. So, put a little pressure on the bottom. Kind of wiggle it in a little bit. There you go. Bam! There it is, right there. Now your tube is upgraded. Slide your ring down to match the little parts right there. Throw the ring back over it. Just like that. Line it up. Take your screw. Come on now, don't be difficult. Take your little screw. Get it back in there. There it is. I lost the other screw, so of 
course, I got to get a replacement. Mine's not going to be double screwed. But you'll have another screw right there to put on. Hey, yo, this is on a budget, man. Sometimes stuff like that happens. You want to take your top, take the notch, match it up with the, uh, where is it at? Match it up with the little cardio pack, cardio, cardio pack, uh, pattern on the front. Take the notch, match them up, slide it in there. Make sure it locks into place so it doesn't turn. Take the bottom part, screw it back onto the bottom. Voila, there you go. You got your up your tube upgrade and your Magami Edition MXL V69. That's how you do it. All right.